Hi guys, how are you? Good evening. I hope some some of you for some of you should not be good night. It's already nine thirty, but good evening. Do you know you act and feel not according to what things really are. Most of us act according to the image we hold in our mind. So you have put five people in let's say sunlight. One person will really enjoy that sunlight. Another person may hate that sunlight. Third person he will have some different view. So we never feel and act according to what it is. We always feel according to what is in our mind. What is the kind of model that we hold on our mind? We always have certain images of the world and of ourselves. So the, this guy, Dr. Maxwell, says that there are two images that we have. One is that we see in the mirror, another is that is inside us, the other person. And most of the time it is so ugly. And, and we behave as if those images are true, the reality. We don't, you know, judge without that unbiasedness. We always have that inner belief. That's what is called self-belief, self-image. And that's how we actually form this whole image through those mental pictures. So guys, this is Vineet. I have 18 years of experience in IT. I'm originally from Bihar, Samastipur, based out in Bangalore. And uh, I am I'm part of this PIM since almost a year. And I'm really passionate about public speaking, leadership, and all these things. From a professional front, I'm actually into technology. And um, also, I'm working on a leadership position. So I'm kind of balancing both the side. So let, let's so the last workshop when this session has happened with uh, uh, PIM and uh, with our mentor Vijay, we all got so many ideas. How can we use our rational thinking to fix this problem of low self belief, you know, limiting self belief? And many of the students who got really benefited, and some of our top students, successful students who are who attended, they wanted to share their experience with you guys. So let's invite them and ask them to share their experience. And one by one, let's pick them up and let's go with Jayant. Hey Jayant, how are you? Hey Vineet, I'm doing good. What about you? How are you? Good, good Jayant. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself Jayant? Sure, sure Vineet. Hey everyone, I'm Jayant. I'm from Bangalore. I have uh, over eight years of experience as a software engineer. So, and I've been part of this PIM for more than 10 months now, and I'm really excited to be part of this discussion. This was an amazing session, and then we got a lot of learnings as well, and it's an interesting topic as well. It's relevant to everyone. So, I think we will have an amazing discussion today. And just to tell my, tell about myself, I, I do a lot of reading, and I'm really passionate about public speaking, which I picked up like after I joined PIM. I'm really thankful for PIM for that. And apart from that, like, as I said, like I like reading, I read a lot of books. So, and I learned a lot, learned a lot of things and uh, I won't talk about it, all these things today. Awesome. Thanks, Vinny. Thanks. Thanks for Thanks. Good to have you. And let's invite Bitupan next. And here's the Bitupan. Hey, Bitupan, how are you? Hi, Vinny. Namaste. How are you? Hey, namaste. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. So, hello, everyone. My name is Bitupan. I am from Assam, born and brought up in Assam, but I have stayed in different places. I was in Bangalore for almost 11 years, then in Noida. Right now I'm in Assam. And in terms of corporate experience, I have around 10 years of experience. And from last one and a half year, I'm a wellness coach. And I help people train their overall wellness through physical and mental training. And I'm very passionate uh, with yoga and fitness. I do a lot of uh, difficult yoga poses, even though I'm not professionally trained in yoga, but I like doing yoga. I have learned everything online. And also, I am uh, passionate about public speaking. And so I have started my own talk show also, which is called Mindful Talks, where I invite individuals to share their experiences. Mostly, I introduce others. So sometimes it's very odd for me when I'm introducing about myself. <laughs> and then, yes, I do read books also, but more than reading books, I listen to a lot of podcasts, a lot of audio books. And that is how I give food to my brain. And I think all of you do the same. 
and very thankful to uh, unlimited potential inside this community that you know i'm getting a platform to uh, hang out with you guys and discuss a lot of ideas and share with you all so thank you so much amazing bituman so how how are you able to manage so many things bituman we will we'll talk that huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah sure sure we'll talk yeah so let me invite sarva next hey sarva how are you hey hey vinit good evening everyone i'm good hello. vinit how are you good good sarva why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself yeah i'm sarbajit and i'm from uh, raurkela uh, a place in odisha and i i'm an it professional with more than 13 years of experience and i am part of this association since uh, more than more than 6 7 months uh, yeah and uh, it's exciting to be part of this discussion and earlier i i used to watch lot of motivational video after joining pim i started applying then awesome, <laughs> yeah awesome. thanks to so from content consumer you became content producer producer <laughs> yeah <laughs> right right It's an amazing growth and <laughs> thank you last but not least arun ashish hey ashish how are you hey vinit i am doing great how are you good good ashish go ahead and introduce yourself Shyamanit. So myself Ashish, and uh, I have more than 12 years experience in the IT industry. I'm from Faridabad, but settled in Bangalore from past three years. And uh, my passion is playing table tennis. And over the time, I mean, from last one year, I have developed the passion of public speaking as well. And I'm mentoring a lot of people in the PIM and the UPI community. I'm mentoring a lot of people for their public speaking, for their communication skills, and a lot of other stuff. And uh, also, I'm enjoying this journey. from since last one year when i started with my book reading habits and over the time i became coach there under all your mentorship with mr vineet and uh, mr vijay so thanks thanks to the pim and the upi community for giving all these things to me thank you amazing ashish amazing and we are proud of the fact that ashish runs his own uh, uh, panel discussion as well so i thought let let me come again and you participate i will host i was so jealous of him he was doing such a nice job <laughs> <laughs> that's good amazing amazing great so let's uh, come to the topic i think uh, the topic was such so amazing right people who are in stress who has this challenge of self belief i have i always um, tell this to my close people the way i used to maybe today people might be thinking oh my god this guy is uh, you know so loud and he is uh, uh, he is showing so much of fake energy and all that because <laughs> people who know me i i was actually a very shy guy and i have i have, I have lived through that depression right when when i was unnecessarily stressed out because my self image was not correct coming from small place in bihar samastipur right and i have i'd seen that uh, you know lower middle class what do you say right when you just have uh, you know food to just you know fill, fill your stomach you don't have extra chocolates and all those things the the you know the luxuries that you have today right so coming from there i think somewhere you start getting that inferiority complex your self image goes down right it is very hard to come out of that right i was the one who was not ready to get married because my i used to think how what i will talk in the marriage right if people ask me for all these things <laughs> Hollywood shows so many big things, right? Uh, that uh, somebody will steal your shoes and all that. How how do you handle that? <laughs> so coming from that background and then being part of PIM, overcoming that whole thing, that has been an amazing journey, right? And I'm sure you all are doing that, right? So let's hear from you. What why this uh, self belief problem is there, and what exactly we we are going to talk about today? Uh, let's hear from uh, you guys one by one. Who want to start? Okay. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So it's belief. Let's let's uh, give my understanding of what is the mind, and I think everybody will agree to this that the mind is not an organ. The brain is an organ. The mind is not. So we cannot see the mind. So what exactly is the mind? The mind is a collection of memories, thoughts, and perceptions that you make from these thoughts, and most importantly, belief of those thoughts. so belief is a very important part of the mind it comprises most part of the mind belief system belief is like food to the mind it's just like we eat food right what happens if we have bad food it's obvious we get bad health so the problem arises when the belief system that we generate becomes bad or does not help us in any way see belief has to come 
I mean, we have to believe in something. We believe in all the things, right? We see water and we say that this is water because it is the belief system. We believe we have been taught that this is water, right? We, as a child, we have been told by our our parents to fear a lion. I, I have my own. Uh, I have my daughter. Okay, I, I'll just give you a question and example. I mm-hmm. have twenty years old daughter. Mm-hmm. So the other day, I was carrying her and we are just walking outside near the footpath and some goats came. Okay. and uh, some 20 goats came and they one person was taking them some, somewhere <clears throat> and these goats started fighting suddenly in, just right in front of me and i got scared by seeing those goats fighting but my daughter was laughing 20 months old daughter she was laughing at it why because she does not know that the, that can be dangerous for her she does not know that when once she grows up we will teach her right that this can be dangerous a lion can be a dangerous thing if you go on the top of a building that can be then can that can be a dangerous thing if you go at night that can be a dangerous thing so we are instilling these beliefs to fear a couple of things for proper survival on uh, on on earth right we are training so this is a belief system because i believe that this can be a dangerous thing so i got scared but she did not get scared so after all we are believing in something or the other thing given by the society the only problem is that how do we take the right belief for our own growth and filter the wrong belief and i think that is what we are going to talk in this session right now and uh, i would love to hear it from from you all amazing amazing with awesome. this this is a great example i really like the fact when you said that uh, um, mind uh, that's a great differentiation right that actually uh, when you said this and that's where i realized uh, we sometimes we mix mind with the brain right so brain mm. it's your organ but mind is something which which is a collection of thoughts and all the beliefs and everything and your daughter's example was amazing and uh, just to clarify i think she's 20 months old not 20 years old <laughs> months months not years <laughs> yeah yeah i want to hear stuff like all right yeah. so who want to who want to go next uh, i i want to go next vinit yeah so uh, to add to what bitpan just said right like uh, he is he put it so beautifully and to uh, add on to that um so everyone as uh, bitupan was implying right everyone has to have belief like we cannot live without any belief you have to believe you have to believe in something you need to have beliefs beliefs in something and when you are young when your belief system is sort of fluid like as you grow old it starts become rigid like you start your belief system just gets sort of stuck and very few people are fortunate that they have like very like really positive belief system that reinforces what they want to do and they become very successful very fast but the most of us because of the society around us because of our own limitations because of our own thinking our belief system some way goes towards like um negative negative belief system and gets stuck in that to give my given my own example right so i had this belief i mean this belief system installed in me through the various things that you need to i mean even now like a lot of a lot of people have go through this like you need you need to know very good english to survive in the industry or wherever so at that time i had this uh, started having this belief system okay i cannot uh, i cannot be a good english speaker i every time i i mean i knew english i i used to write i i, I mean even, even back then i used to write a lot but then when i when it came to speaking my own belief system was stopping me from becoming whatever like speaking fluently and i think it uh, it was a solo it took a lot of practice a lot of things a lot of uh, uh, belief system changing that took place to get that and then the pim actually helped me in that that actually uh, so uh, just to give just to tell that like that belief also affected my belief that i cannot speak publicly in front of other people so that started that inferiority complex that actually um was stuck for a very long time and the way with the help of pim when i joined here it actually helped me to overcome the belief system change the belief system and that's where that's what we are talking about how we can uh, we, today we are going to talk about how we can change your belief system uh, what are the things you can do how you can do it rationally with your conscious thoughts that's what we are going to talk about today amazing amazing very nice um, uh, again uh, some great examples jayant i think uh, most of us uh, have faced that and um, even even i have gone through that journey when uh, studying in convent school so to say and uh, that was another level of pressure if you are in convent school uh, then people expect that you should speak good english right but at home it was yeah. always hindi right so so mm. it was so hard to speak it never dawned on me it's all about practice i said yeah. 
thinking that oh i am not able to speak my peers are speaking right because they were speaking at home also it's like and now i compare english with bhojpuri right is nothing better than bhojpuri right that's true yeah and english so is it's another language yeah this is another language i i my my mother tongue is mathli it's equivalent to mathli right Uh, just that we have given some status to it because somebody else uh, is speaking across the world it's a big language and all that but even our languages are amazing right uh, great great jain that's a, that's a great example and i'm sure many of uh, the people will be able to you know respect their own language more and not get stressed that i am not very comfortable in english I, i would like to uh, tell something about this english yeah. this is not related to our topic but this is one question for you all uh-huh. the a b c d that format why a b c t a b c d is in that format why b after a and c find it out and let me know why it is in that format why the vowels are not in the front and then the consonants right there is no reason why a b c d should be in that format yeah i also remember one why t o is two and g o is go yes go <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> amazing, amazing. Yeah. funny language Yeah, it's a funny thing. So, but uh, but uh, good question. Uh, Bitupan, we will explore that. Why we should do that? Sir, what you want to ask? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> so I mean, uh, what I want to say is like, uh, uh, if I talk about myself, that uh, initially, like uh, the way it started, like uh, from from my childhood days, that I I had a, uh, I had a feeling that I cannot handle new situations, right? So. whenever something goes wrong or some new situation comes like uh, i i i become panic right uh, like something for example something uh, something is not very natural right so if if your life is going on in a routine manner then it's fine if something goes differently then i i start to press the panic button oh how will i handle this lot of tension a right? lot of headache and all that so how this came i when i when i was analyzing that uh, that uh, initially maybe i was not able, uh, able to handle one or two situation where then people start telling me that that okay this guy is dumb he cannot handle the situation i mean they straight forward they they were saying that oh he he cannot do that so in front of other people so when this humiliation or embarrassment happen so you start believing that okay this is me right this is me this is how i act so and this this belief system is still there right and it's and it's hitting me still hard and to come out of that belief system it's not very easy right so that i mean that's the problem right you when you have a belief system it's very difficult to change it when it's programmed so long i mean it's been programming uh, hap- i mean the programming is happening right quite a long time so you start believing that that is you right so i i think uh, with from the last session and from the last uh, this session are going on self image i think i'm i'm working on on my belief system to uh, to uh, you know upgrade it to to uh, move to the right belief system about myself right last session it was talking uh, we discuss about rational uh, thinking uh to improve our belief system and it was uh, really eye opening uh, session for me amazing amazing thank you so much uh, sir for being so candid about it right it's not easy to say this on public right and uh, uh, and that's the beauty of, about it right we all are being so honest just so that other people can understand we all are facing same problem and sir bhaji i'll tell you i don't know how many of you know less brown yeah, i know yeah uh, you know. Know, right he's a big he's 72 guy. yeah he's mm. 72 and he is the one of the most successful motivational and you know uh, the, the mentor and coach and exactly he when he was 8 years of old uh, so he, uh, so he was sitting in his class and uh, one of his teacher asked a question to him and he was like uh, he was looking here and there you know, how can i answer and some pe- some students woke up and they said uh, so he's the dumb dumb brother of his, his intelligent Uh, so he's a dumb brother of his intelligent brother big brother and uh, he said himself he said yes sir i am dumb i am sorry and he, of course he was depressed i am dumb i i cannot answer and all so his teacher he says he his teachers one line changes his life his teacher says what everybody says is not your op- it should how can others opinion be your opinion 
they can tell you mm. dumb how can you be calling yourself dumb right and said that that right. completely changed me so basically something this environment the situation <clears> are <throat> like yeah. that we never get this kind of environment where we understand we get that awareness that actually what those people are saying they themselves are not aware right Mm, and i'm very right. happy that you you actually same has happened with many of us i think many of us yeah. have heard things like you're crazy you're mad you're dumb you're this you're that right and some of us took that very personally but i'm happy that we are in a this situation now where we know all those were bullshit it was nothing but a big 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 bullshit right and just right. that we are, we are clearly out of it and we know how to handle it and since uh, four of you like uh, sarba ashish and jayant you are anyway pm coaches and you guys are mentoring so many other people i'm sure we can and bitupen is doing at his own level right so we all can actually change people lives forget our i'm sure we have actually over overtaken that self belief now we are completely into a different zone thank you so much uh, sarba for uh, saying that ashish any okay. thoughts uh, you want to share yeah so i think i just want to reemphasize what uh, sarba jain and uh, bitupan has covered so even i struggled with those kind of beliefs right since my childhood uh, when i used to interact with my cousins and uh, so many of my friends so i remember like in one of my uh, during during my school days so as soon as some activity was given to me so some or the other friend they will shout and they will say okay isko to waise kuch nahi aayega <laughs> so they will simply Uh, put that phrase as soon as I'll go to perform something, right? Like, you, yeah, like it's happened like when we are in the school days, yeah. teacher will call you and they will ask you, okay, just uh, sing a song or tell a poem or something like that. So, if I think about those days, right? And as as we grew up, right, we started interacting with lot of other people, with our friends, with our our, our relatives, and so many things came, right? So as soon as we develop those those rational thinking, okay, I am like that. I am supposed to be like that. right and that moment itself that thought starts reinforcing the, those all beliefs that okay i am going to be like this forever i cannot change at all right and over the time that belief system it exaggerates so much that when you are grown up when you are an adult you start feeling that okay i cannot do this i think maybe some of my friends can do that but i cannot do that i am not capable of doing that and even if i talk about a funny part like okay uh, let's say uh, if you see some uh, lizard in your room right so since my childhood i have been given a belief that okay lizards are not good if they are in the room or they are in your house right uh, it's it's very weird to see them right so i had that belief and i started getting scared of uh, lizards right and as of today also i carry that belief system <laughs> <laughs> but i'm trying to overcome that belief that uh, that that false belief that okay uh, let's not get scared of them just whenever you see in inside them just try to get rid of them <laughs> by taking some <laughs> steak or something <laughs> so i'm 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 very obsessed with that belief even as of today also and i'm trying to uh, i mean uh, make my make my belief system more strong that okay i let's not get scared of the lizards let's try to get rid of them so it's a, just an example like i shared so similarly another individual might be having some other false belief that okay these things are not good for me and because i am not meant for that i am not capable of that right maybe somebody like like we we started this public speak uh, public speaking journey as part of the upi and pim right i never thought of giving any speeches i never had any thought like okay i can mentor any people right for their pub, for their public forget about mentoring the other people can i uh, see myself as a public speaker right forget about mentoring the people that will be the altogether different story so first mm-hmm. when i worked on myself like i worked on my inner belief that okay i can also do excel in that i can also become a public speaker i can also start giving speeches and over the time that belief system all those rational thoughts were replaced by these new thoughts that okay i can also mentor the people at the same time if i can do it for myself if an i if i can overcome from all those false belief that i am also a good public speaker then maybe i can help others also so i think bichay covered one important point during the workshop that if somebody else come with the same situation with the same false belief which you sometime had then will you give the same situ- same solution to them or you will first assess your situation and then you will provide the solution accordingly right i don't know how how much uh, uh, that point was relevant but i was able to connect to that right because you you when you face a situation like when you see okay somebody else is struggling from that same false belief system right and you can help them right 
to overcome them from those false belief that time you grow itself that time you realize okay how bad the situation is for this guy and how essential is to help him to overcome that false belief system so yeah amazing amazing ashish i think uh, i'm so happy i i think this this particular uh, session is going to be a legendary session in our history right so we all are being so honest and we are speaking from our heart let's give a good round of applause to everyone here amazing amazing okay. Uh, so if if i talk about my story a quick story i have lost so many things due to this wrong you know false self belief i remember in my 7th 8th class when we used to go to picnic and uh, so you always have some infatuation right i don't know if it is love or not but you get infatuated by some girls right so not girls girl at least one girl will be there with whom you get <laughs> Right. Yeah. So I was in fact married with one of the girl. I will not take name, otherwise she's seeing uh, it will be a problem. <laughs> she doesn't know. It. But then I thought if we are going on picnic, I am going to talk like anything with her, right? But so, see this poor guy, <laughs> the self image, the ugly, the ugly guy was sitting inside, right? And I tried my best, but I couldn't talk even once. And like I was lost completely. Where friends are telling, okay, let's go there, let's go there. But I was completely lost. My mind was there. I didn't even talk once. and i was my i had so much of plans i am going to say her this i am going to say her that so so this is just one example so i have lost so many things only due to the self image and many people are losing so many opportunities this was yeah. now a bit funny a uh, funny incident that was that time it was very serious i was really serious about her <laughs> so she was losing so many opportunities right in a job in a in a career in a maybe you might be getting so many new opportunities to explore right but we are losing that completely and i'm sure uh, people who are watching us today uh, uh, when ashish spoke and all his all his uh, mentees who are watching him they will actually now sh- see the fact that leader is the one who knows the way he shows the way and he goes the way right so important right so we i think we all are doing that exactly so amazing amazing now let's talk about the other part of it right this this was a challenge that we talked about the self image and uh, how it is so harmful for all of us how i lost my opportunities right of you know about that girl and you all had uh, lost those kind of opportunities right so what is the solution and many people are still suffering from the same thing that's this prosu problem right there is no potion or something we could have give, given that potion to our friends see it's not a problem we are here this take this portion and you will completely the way it happens in the game right <laughs> it's just not possible in the reality right so how how do we fix it so maybe uh, bitupan if you want to start on this how exactly yeah yeah it? definitely we have spent so much time discussing the problems so definitely we should discuss the solution right now exactly. and from from our last uh, pim session what uh, mr vijay has shared is that i have noted on couple of points and i really like them i think they are really good to implement very practical to be implemented in our life one is that uh, the belief system comes from uh, statistics okay statistics are good i am not saying we should not use statistics but uh, statistics are good to use uh, in some cases like business for entrepreneurs you should use statistics for for uh, government uh, work you should use statistics but we cannot use statistics to decide human potential for instance if i have failed 10 times in my past that does not really mean that i'll fail the 11th time there is no such statistics that you can do for human potential because human potential can change any time by changing of a belief right that is what we humans are for right we are for change right change in only it said a change in the only thing that is constant so everything is changing so our potential can also change so we can never ever uh, predict our human potential in the future from the statistics of the past there is one point really important that we should uh, understand and the second thing is that uh, he mentioned about uh, rational thinking using our rational thinking for the wrong things we have to think rationally that because of this belief is it really really making sense uh, i would like to give an example uh, uh, let's say the uh, i would like to give an example of skydiving okay when when we say skydiving the first thing is that we you get scared of skydiving right or everybody gets scared of skydiving oh what's going to happen but actually rationally if you see statistics of skydiving there are hardly any accidents in skydiving very very less accidents Uh, or deaths in skydiving but there are more chances of me dying if i'm walking on the footpath if there is a bike that comes and hits me or a car comes and hits hits me but i don't get scared by walking on the footpath 
i get scared because if i if somebody says i have to do skydiving but rationally if i think then there are very less chances of me dying on skydiving right because those trainers are professionals they are perfect they have been doing the same thing again and again so this way we have to think rationally that is it really making sense or am i just uh, you know believing or generating some fear out of nowhere so these are the two points that i want to mention one is that statistically we have to see that statistics cannot predict our human potential in the future and second is rationally we have to use our rational mind to see whether this belief is making sense or not amazing so, amazing right point so when you were talking about skydiving i remembered that viral video <laughs> i don't know if you guys ha mm. <laughs> <laughs> so right i seen that near to death after that many people left skydiving those like <laughs> mm. amazing but that's a great so i remember uh, i remember one guy uh, gave a gift to uh, his wife for the marriage anniversary and he booked the slots for the skydiving Ah. and unfortunately that lady died <laughs> due to that accident <laughs> oh my god that's you a real story yeah you are scaring yeah, people yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know whether it's scary or not maybe that guy will be enjoying <laughs> that <death> or not <laughs> just a funny part but yeah obviously the risk as bitukan said it's, it's a minimum risk right i think it's more Very than my case that curry was yesterday they feel before yesterday he was saying i think 1.5 Black people died on in, in road accident, right? Mm, uh, right, right. Yeah. And so, yeah, and, uh, and uh, Bitupan was saying that. Right? So we have this irrational fear of sky. I mean, I have an irrational fear of skydiving. I still haven't overcome that. I'm just telling that. So I, I, whenever I think of skydiving, I think of dying. So, but then as Bitupan was saying, that is something rational thinking which everyone of us have to do. And one more thing I want to add is like when we encounter something new, right? New experience. Like we have never done skydiving before. We are always scared to death of something which we have not done before. And that is something like when we experience something new, we find so many rationalizations. We use rational thinking in so long way, so many rationalizations not to do it. And that way, like we create that fear in our mind. Okay, yeah. if I do this, oh, all those things will happen. And all those things are mostly irrational. We don't even realize it. Once we start thinking rationally, like rationally saying that okay. we look at uh, statistics as bitupan was saying like there are no accidents in skydiving most of the accidents happen on the road or wherever you are going like that so something like that if you apply to every situation every new situation you face in your life you are you are no longer bound by the fear of unknown or fear of new things or you will obviously will be able to try it out so the negative image, imagination we start building up right yeah. so that's, that's a bigger problem amazing Uh, sir, you want to add something? Yeah, I just want to add one more point, like uh, about uh, the solution on uh, how how we can use rational thinking for uh, to improve our belief system. Uh, maybe in some cases, for example, if I if I am frustrated for, uh, in my job and something bad day happened in my job, right, and then I came home and then I shouted on my kid that oh, you are a dumb, you are not able to do <laughs> all these things, right? so what what will happen right uh, so it's a wrong a wrong belief system i am implanting i am installing in his mind right so if when he will grow up uh, so he will still think that he is dumb right so so we so now 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 is the time for us whatever belief system we have so we have to rule relook them and maybe think that i mean as um, bitupan and uh, ajayant was saying that we have to rationally think whether that that belief system is uh, really true or not right that that belief system might be by mistake it it is installed right by accidentally because of your environment because of your setup it might be installed wrongly right and you are you are just living with that so you can you can have a different perspective about that uh, thing right Uh, yeah and uh, one more is whether whether you want to continue the same belief system or you want to stop that and you know start uh, thinking newly right so yeah this is about like how you can use amazing amazing thought and i think uh, if we work on ourselves our self belief i think our children will anyway will be taken care of the challenge is right. most of the people actually want their children to be fixed but they are not fixing ourselves <laughs> <laughs> right 
that's a great thought and uh, the moment we have that environment where when we are working on our mindset uh, it automatically flows down to this uh, our uh, kids also ashish you want to add something i think uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So quickly, I will add. So yeah. So as uh, Sarbha also told, like uh, how to uh, create that uh, positive belief system, right? So the very important thing which Vijay uh, mentioned in the workshop also, like how to uh, replace those negative images with the positive images, right? So as he mentioned, like uh, you, people are very much uh, vulnerable towards giving up the due to the willpower, right? But if we can replace those negative beliefs with some positive Im images, I can succeed. Okay, I can think about, like I can visualize about being successful, right? Then maybe I will I'm able to overcome that all those false beliefs, all those negative images, because unless and until I don't feed my uh, brain or I don't ask to this universe that, boss, I want to be successful, right? In such and such any area, let's say I want to be successful in let's say public speaking, so I have to visualize myself that okay, I am reaching there, I am almost there, I have achieved that. Right. So, as Vijay mentioned, like in this book, also he has mentioned, like the author says, like try to spend at least thirty minutes only for your belief system. That okay, what you want from this universe, right? If you want this particular thing to happen in your life, you have to ask from the universe. You have to pull those all those positive images in your mind, and you have to eliminate all those negative images from your mind. And that's why the willpower is not only sufficient; it's very much essential that you have that positive images on top of the willpower. So I think that great. will also suffice. Great point, Ashish. Great point. And I, I remember those. I think it's very important to ask yourself those basic questions which Vijay mentioned in the uh, in the workshop. Right? Is there any rational reason for such a belief? Whatever self-limiting right. belief I have, is there any rational reason behind it? The moment we sit and think about it, I think most of the time you will know that there is no reason behind it. Right? We are unnecessarily getting stressed. Right? Could I it be that I am mistaken in this belief? The second question, right? And you will see most of the time you are mistaken in this belief. Right, as we all five of us talked about our own self belief, there there was no substance to it. Right? Would I come to a conclusion about some other person in a similar situation? You'll see, as uh, we'll talk about our kids, we'll talk about our friends. Hey, you should not be in this situation, but we actually are all we already are in that situation, right? right. So instead of talking about ourselves, we start talking about others, and, and that's a great way to understand. Would you be? Suggesting same self-limiting belief to others? No, you will never be right. Why should I continue to act and feel as if this was true uh, when there is no good reason to feel it? I'm sure the moment we go through these questions, most of the self-belief, limiting self-belief, will get shattered. Amazing guys, it was a great discussion. I am sure uh, uh, everybody learned so much. We uh, will just take one minute, two minutes, and uh, I'll just. Uh, on this uh, high last note, I like to understand how how is this unlimited potential inside is helping you. If you have any thought, right? Uh, how how did it it meet your requirement, and how can it help others also to understand um, uh, this whole platform? So maybe I can take one by one. Uh, Jent, uh, shall I start with you? Yeah, sure, Vinit. I'll go ahead for that. Um, go ahead. So unlimited potential inside, and as part of peak impact mentorship. Um, for me, it has been the platform where I could develop my own self-confidence and public speaking. So mainly, uh, it started with the public speaking and also I realized that it's all tied to my self-confidence. And it is like through the mentorship, through the coaching and through the community we have here, I've been able to understand this relation, like whatever is the relation between my self-confidence, public speaking, how to get, get better at it. And a lot of, lot of tools are available here and a lot of people, a lot of connection. And um, like, for example, my, Vinit, you are my mentor and then you have been helping me with understanding a lot of things about myself. And this is what this platform provides. This one-to-one, -one, the human touch that is required for anyone to grow. I mean, I think uh, Bitupan or someone was selling in, uh, initially or uh, that we, we can learn a lot of things on YouTube videos. But then it is this human touch, this community that you can get feedback from and grow uh, exponentially. Feedback is essential for your growth. And this is where you get that feedback, unbiased feedback. And also you have your coaches who are rooting for you and rooting for you to grow and then uh, succeed. That, that is something I've never not seen any of the communities uh, until, until, until now in my life. And this is something that is very different and it has been really helpful for me. 
So I, I would like to thank uh, Peak Impact Mentorship and uh, Limited Potential Insight for whatever it has provided me till now and whatever it's providing me and then uh, enabling me to give back to the society as well, to help others. That's what I, I look forward to do and then I want to do it as well. Thank you, Vineet. Thank you. Amazing. Thanks. Amazing. And uh, let me ask uh, Bitupan, uh, Bitupan, if you have any thoughts. Yes, yes. So it is said that we are the average of the five people around us, right? We become like them. We are just the average. And every uh, person say that. I mean, every coaches, everybody say that. So who I want to be like? I want to be like mentors like you. And I wanted to change my tribe. So I have contacted you guys and I had been discussing these things with you all. So what happens is that when I am with a tribe like you all, then when I discuss these things, the same thing goes to into my mind and this becomes my belief because we are all on the same level. The same level is that we have realized that we are growing and we have to grow more. That potential is inside us. We have to take that potential out. That is what I realized and that is why I, I have uh, met you guys and I have started discussing these things. And it helped me change my mindset a lot. And... Uh, Second important thing is that it also gave me a platform to share what I'm learning from you all because that is, as it is said that, you know, it is good to share so that sharing also helps you be, to grow. And it is also spiritually important because then you will get it more. So it is also important that the more I share, I also get it more. So there is also a selfish thing in me that I'm sharing because I want to grow more. But at the same time, I'm also helping others to grow whatever I'm learning and sharing with them. So that is why I have joined this community. And it is such an amazing platform that, you know, the you guys are helping so many people grow together, evolve together, find out their potential inside. So thankful to you all. Thank you so much. So that's a positive meanness, right? We all have that. That we want to grow and help people. Amazing. Uh, so uh, let me ask Sarba to share his thoughts. Sarba, you, uh, oh yeah, you want to go ahead? Then. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I mean, uh, the why I joined this uh, association is like. Uh, I mean, I was looking for something. I, I was looking for, I mean, I was looking for a purpose in my life. So I started reading books. I started reading, uh, I started with Bhagavad Gita, I remember. Uh, someone said me that if you read Bhagavad Gita, you'll get all the answers. So I was, uh, re I was reading that book and I started reading other books, but somewhere I was, it was not connecting. You know, people say that if you looking, if you are looking for something, you will uh, get the right thing. I mean, you I mean, some there is some unseen power that will show you the path, right? Uh, that is what happened. Ashish called me once, and we were just discussing some casual things, and then he was he talked me about this uh, book club, and I'm so I was attracted towards this book club and the association. I but what I get in turn apart from the books and uh, you know all this thought process, and uh, I also got the mentorship which actually helped me a lot uh, in my in my uh, career in my pro uh, personal life everywhere so i'm i'm really thankful for whatever i uh, mean uh, happened to me and uh, i mean whatever is uh, i got from unlimited potential thank you amazing very nice um, uh, thank you so much for that ashish you want to go ahead yeah sure sure Vineet. so if i think about the upi the unlimited potential inside so I'll categorize into three things. The first is the consistency. I don't know if I would have got this kind of consistency in any of other skill set. Maybe I would have excelled in that also, right? But kind of consistency UPI gives to us. The second part is like uh, the community, right? It's a platform like where not only you can work on yourself, you can groom, your, groom yourself. You can also help others to excel in their skill set, in the public speaking, in the communication skills, right? And when you groom yourself, when you see yourself, okay, growing, and when you get the exposure to coach other people, right? So that's the part of the community where you are contributing as well as you are learning from others. And the third thing is about the coaching, right? We see a lot of people talking about the coaches they get in their corporate, right? But when we talk about the human touch, as Jent was iterating, when you talk about the human touch or the one-to-one -one coaching, so that is that becomes very essential during this era of the fast life, where people don't even have time for their own family, 
right and when you get a dedicated mentor who is not making you uh, to grow in your personal life but also making you accountable at the same time to grow each and every day right by in in, in terms of public speaking in terms of your personal relationships or in terms of your career so there are n number of things where the upi is contributed in my life personally so thanks to the upi and the unlimited potential inside and the pim thank you awesome awesome great great so amazing guys I, i'm sure uh, today uh, all of the people who are watching us uh, first you should understand that we all are same there is there is uh, we might be speaking a lot in the public platform but we are like you right so if you have self belief problem we also had and many of us still have ashish still still has a lizard self belief problem right <laughs> <laughs> so any anyway, thought self belief is an external problem i don't think it it actually is self belief problem self belief is all about me and most of us has uh, have overcome that right and you all can do that and that's where i think uh, as everyone said uh, uh, even if it's not this platform whatever platform you you should find a platform which actually connects with you which helps you in your personal development right and this is one platform which we really enjoy and we are learning so many things and we get to connect with uh, so many amazing people right as i was telling about bitupan he is already learn, uh, running a admin uh, he is admin of a big group uh, having 22000 people in facebook right he is already a famous guy right and uh, so are the others right and uh, uh the mentorship of vijay the mentorship of uh, prajesh right the mentorship of so many other coaches who are uh, running this uh, whole thing right i really like that term uh, with panuni said tribe it's a tribe where we, we think about our personal growth so as uh, when sarva was saying that i had this challenge and he's so successful in his job i know him and he's so successful and he is like uh, uh, doing his job so easily but still all the people who are really successful if you think through even like me who is really successful in my job in my career we have gone through that process right we were in where our self belief internal guy was really ugly outside is it can be as smart as you see but internally it's very ugly right so we have to fix that and i'm sure today you got many nuggets to fix that so thank you so much have a great night we just exceeded by 17 minutes that's our passion right <laughs> just for 30 minutes we went for uh, 47 minutes thank you so much guys and uh, have a great night have a great day and a great life and i'll with that thanks see you thanks for the bye bye